Welcome back to the channel. They were under the car, got the frame bolted to the body, and we're going to be installing Speedtex Frame Bracing Kit. Yay! So, the first bracket that they talk about in the destructions locates off of the rear here. Right here. And it references the e-brake cable. So if you're going to use this little guy, you're going to have to move that out of the way. And your bracket is going to index around that hole, but it's going to mount to this surface. So here's the brackets that they give you. Your pipes go on the end of here, get welded on. This allows you to place it onto the frame, tack weld it, and kind of work off of that. So this is the driver's side, forward, as you can see on here. And uh, I'm just going to notch right around where that hole would go. Give me enough room to get the clip on there for the e-brake cable. And then I can zap this little guy on there. Just going to tack it for now, and I can mock some stuff up around that. All right, got the bracket cut. Got a couple tacks in there holding in place. I've got plenty of room around my e-brake cable to attach the clip. Make sure that's good to go with mock-up, and then we can final weld that in when it's final weld time. Now this bracket is going to be the locator for one of these little short tube guys that they give you. And that's just going to flush right there. That little fish mouth on it. And your crossbar with the hoop on it is going to go to that. Okay, now we're going to move on to this crossbar. I've determined where it needs to be fore and aft by placing those little, little short pipe deals. Space me out. Uh, Mark that on the frame. Measured the width of the frame. I'm at 44 and a half inches. So this is going to be, this needs to be a width of 44 and a half inches because I'm going to stick it right between the rails. Minus the thickness of these plates. These are eighth inch plates. That's another quarter inch off. So I put some marks on my pipe here. And I'm going to go cut that out and slide that in place. All right, trial and error. Tried putting this here bar in place, and what you know, it's kind of hard to balance, you know, four pipes on your back underneath here. So, um, figured out, you know, later on in the steps, they show these little brackets here that kind of go like that. You know, kind of grab onto the pipe. And I was like, you know, that might hold the pipe up so I don't have to try to hold it myself. So I drilled my holes in this little trough here on the little frame brace, the rear brace of the body. And I put these on and uh, they're just kind of holding this in place so I don't have to. And wouldn't you know it if, you know, these bars just kind of fell into place here and are right about where they need to be. And I'm not really touching anything. So, turns out my little, I'll show you over here. I'll get you in there and see it. Um, yep, my little plates on there are uh, in a decent spot uh, there. This one could probably come up a little bit more, a little bit this way. But, um, yeah, I might, I don't know, I might move that just because I'm OCD like that. I didn't put one on the other side because there's no frame to weld to on that side. So that's just going to get uh, put roughly in place. And then when I replace that corner of the frame, I will add this and weld it in. Um, so I think this is good to get tacked now after I move that plate over a little bit. And then we can move on to the forward bars. I'll give you a little shot of where we're at. So, this is the bracket. Brackets. They're holding this guy on there. They're just kind of loose right now. To get mine to line up, I had to switch to a two and a half or three inch bolt. Uh, the one they gave me in the kit just wasn't long enough. Let me get you in there. This guy, I think he's like a two inch, two and a half inch. Um, I put a longer bolt on there. They had some spacers. I dropped this down. 
a little bit and then it dropped the outer edges down right about even in the frame rails there so i highly recommend doing that if i can catch you from sliding around here they do give you a hardware kit but um nowhere in these instructions and my camera mount's messing up nowhere in these instructions does it say what bolt goes where how many bolts how many washers how many spacers they gave you some spacers but I, I don't see where they go maybe i'm missing it if somebody sees that i'm missing it let me know um on 5.6 for the floor pan mounts it says you just larger mount plates are located toward the front side of the brace tubes blah 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 blah, blah. refer to photos i don't see any spacers in there um I'm assuming that must be something for the transmission cross member side, but it's part of the kit and I needed it. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. But anyway, that's where we're at now. I'm going to tack these in there and then I'm going to fit the front hoops on and see where they're at and then see how that transmission cross member needs to get trimmed out. Here, my microphone cut out. But what I'm trying to describe is you have to figure out how much you got to cut from the edges. So you need the width of your frame inside to inside. And then you measure out the two transmission cross member pieces and the center piece and get your overall width. Subtract the two and that's how much you got to cut out. Divided by two, that's how much you cut from each side. Uh, I put that cross member in the center of its travel and then cut some on each side. My frame has a step, so I also measured what I needed to cut from that step. Everything's cut, and I got my steps on there. Both these guys are setting in place and being held up with the transmission cross member piece. And I loosely bolted them in place, and this is almost adjusted all the way out. So I can move this left and right if I need to. Uh, let's see. Of course, when it failed, have to push it up a little bit to seat it where it needs to seat. I got a rusted through floor mount on that side, so I'm going to need a hammer to give me some room on that because that's all going to get cut out and replaced. But right now it's hitting. <clears throat> and let's see. I can give you an idea on this side. This is my driver's side. I kind of slid this bar through there. Um, they are supposed to be pretty close. Um, there you, go. you see it's almost there. Uh, I probably need to cut some. I'll measure and cut it off so it can rotate up. Um, it's going to land. I think it was just after where that uh, clutch uh, bracket was. The pivot ball. But this little guy goes in there. I'm not going to tack this in because the way this is, this pipe is sitting, it's kind of angling it a little bit. But uh, I'm get a good shot of this here. It's got a good 12 inches or so off the outer frame rail, and it makes a nice, strong inner frame rail. And where it intersects back here, when it's turned correctly, will be fish mouthed. Right, I guess I can turn it 180 and show you. It's fish mouthed and it goes right up on there. So there's like zero fab work, nice tight clearance. And get you, it's already beveled. You can get a nice little weld in there. So that's kind of cool. Um, like I said before, I did have to drop mine, my hoop. I don't know what this bar is. The hoopty hoop, hoop, boop bar. And uh, that brought me down just enough. Spacing wise, to get everything to line up where I wanted it.
All right, guys, she's in. Got this most of the way welded, but you can see it. Cut it, slid right up. Tapped it at the hammer, lined everything up. These pieces are over my step. On your frame, it'll probably just be flat. I'll finish weld all of these once I get the body back off. I installed my bracket here. Mine, since I had to space back there, I had to add a couple of spacers here to space it down where I wanted it. Seems to be pretty strong. I mean, when it's welded, it's going to be a lot stronger than ready. All right, well, that's about it for this video. Everything's installed. Everything went well. I like the kit. I like the way everything was pre-fit. would like to have a little more detail on the instructions. And if you guys are doing this by yourself at home, I recommend that you uh, use those little hangers, body mount brace hangers to hold your pipes up so you don't have to use your hands to do that. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. I'd be happy to answer. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.